Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze a beam using Clapeyron's theorem of three moments. Before analyzing, let's see the beam one time. In this beam, there are two spans, span AB and span BC. In the span AB, there is a point load 45 kN acting at 2 meter from the point A. In the span BC, we are having UDL 15 kN per meter acting for the full span. In the point A, we are having a fixed support. In the point B and the point C, we are having hinged supports. Span AB is 6 meter long and span BC is 4 meter long. The moment of inertia for the span AB is 1.5 I. For the span BC, the moment of inertia is 2 I. Before starting the analysis, let's see the number of moments to be found. In the point C, there will be no moment because it is a simply supported end. So, MC is equal to 0. In the point A, we are having a moment MA and in the point B, we are having a moment MB. So, the number of moments to be found is 2. To calculate these two moments, we need two equations. For making one equation, we need two spans. Using the spans AB and BC, we can make one equation. But we need two. So, we have to make one imaginary span. The imaginary span should be made from the fixed support. So, we have to make an imaginary span on the left of point A. Here, you can see that I have made an imaginary span. The imaginary span is A0A and it is having the length of L0. Now, it is possible to make two equations. The first equation can be made in the spans A0A and AB. The second equation can be made in the spans AB and BC. So, we can make two equations. Using those equations, we can find the moments MA and MB. Now, let us take the spans A0A and AB and make the first equation. Now, let's calculate the ordinate for the span AB. We can make the ordinates assuming that the span is a simply supported beam. This point load is not acting on the center. In this case, we have to split the span into two parts, A and B. A is 2 meter and B is 4 meter. The formula to calculate the maximum bending moment under the point load is WAB upon L. In this formula, W is 45, A is 2, B is 4 and L is 6. After calculation, we are getting 60. We know that if a point load is acting on the simply supported beam, the diagram will be in the shape of a triangle. Since the span A0A is imaginary, we should not make any ordinates in this span. Now, let's apply the theorem of three moments in the spans A0A and AB. In the previous video, we have already derived this equation. In this equation, this term, this term and this term will be zero. Because A0A is an imaginary span. So, for this equation, only we have to calculate A1 and X bar right. This is a triangle. The area formula for the triangle is half into breadth into height. Here, the height is 60, the breadth is 6. After applying in the formula, we are getting 180. Now, we have to calculate the centroid distance. Suppose there is a diagram on the left side. 
For this diagram, we have to calculate the centroid towards the left side. And for the diagram in the span AB, we have to calculate the centroid towards the right side. Here, we don't have to calculate the centroid distance because it is an imaginary span. Only we have to calculate here. This is an unequal or scaling triangle. In this triangle, the centroid distance towards the left will be L plus A upon 3 and towards the right it will be L plus B upon 3. In our case, we are calculating towards the right. So, the formula is L plus B upon 3. L is 6 meter. B is 4. Finally, we are getting 10 upon 3. Now, let us apply all the values in the equation. We already know this term, this term and this term will be 0. L1 is equal to 6 meter and I1 is equal to 1.5 I. Also, we have calculated A1 and X bar right. We can apply all of the values. On the left side and the right side, 1.5 I is common. We can take it outside and eliminate. 2 into 6, we will get 12. When we calculate these values, we will get minus 600. Let us keep this equation as number 1. We have made the first equation in the spans A0A and AB. Now let us make the second equation in the span AB and BC. We have already calculated the ordinate for span AB. Now let us calculate the ordinate for span BC. In the span BC, we are having UDL 15 kN per meter acting for the full span. In the simply supported beam, if the UDL is acting for the full span, the formula for maximum bending moment at the center is WL square by 8. Here, W is 15, L is 4 meter. After applying in the formula, we are getting 30. Since UDL is acting, the shape of the bending moment diagram will be a parabola. Now, let us apply the theorem of three moments in the span AB and BC. For this triangle, we have already calculated the area. Only we have to calculate the centroid. Now, we have to calculate the centroid towards the left side. The formula for the centroid distance towards the left is L plus A upon 3. Here, L is 6 meter and A is 2. Finally, we are getting 8 upon 3. The area formula for a second degree parabola is 2 by 3 into breadth into height. Here, the breadth is 4 meter and the height is 30. After calculation, we are getting 80. Now, we have to calculate the centroid of this diagram towards right side. This is a symmetrical diagram. So, the centroid lies in the center. From the center towards the right is 4 upon 2. We will get it 2. Now, let's apply the values in the equation. L1 is equal to 6 meter. I1 is equal to 1.5 I. L2 is equal to 4 meter, I2 is equal to 2I. Also, we have calculated area 1, x bar left, area 2 and x bar right. We can apply all of the values. In the point C, there will be no movement because it is a simply supported end. We already saw that. So, this whole term will become 0. 6 upon 1.5 we will get 4, 6 upon 1.5 plus 4 upon 2, we will get 6. When we calculate these, we will get 320 upon i. Here, we will get 120 upon i. i is common on both of the sides. We can take it outside and eliminate. 
2 into 6, we will get 12. When we add 320 and 120, we will get 440. Let us keep this as equation number 2. Alternatively, we can use the formulas and make the equations very easily. Most of the problems are coming with the beams loaded with the point load and UDL. So, if we study these formulas, we can form the equations very easily. Now, let's apply the formulas in the spans A0A A and AB and make the equation. Here, we know that these three terms are zero. Only we have to calculate this. In the span AB, a point load is acting. So, we have to select this condition. Here, we have to calculate 6A x bar right upon L. The formula is WB upon L into L square minus B square. W is 45. B is 4 meter, L is 6 meter. After applying all the values in the formula, we are getting 600. Then we can eliminate 1.5i because it is common on both of the sides. Finally, we have made the first equation. Now let's apply the formulas in the spans A, B and B, C and form the second equation. In the span A, B, we have to calculate 6a x bar left upon L. So, we have to select this formula wa upon L into L square minus a square. Here, w is 45, a is 2, L is 6. After applying in the formula, we are getting 480. In the span bc, we have to calculate 6a x bar right upon L. So, we have to select this formula WL cube upon 4. Here, W is 15, L is 4. After applying in the formula, we are getting 240. We can apply the values in the equation. In this way, we can easily make the second equation. We have formed two equations. Now, we can use the calculator and find the final moments. If you do not know how to solve two equations in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video for getting ideas how to solve two equations in the calculator. We can solve these two equations manually also. For solving manually, let us divide this equation by 12. When we divide this equation by 12, we are getting this. Then we can divide this equation by 4. In this way, we can keep MA alone without any other values. After dividing by 4, we are going to subtract this equation by this equation. So we have to change the signs. Positive becomes negative and negative becomes positive. MA and minus MA will be eliminated. When we add these two values, we are getting minus 2.5. When we add these two values, we are getting 60. In this way, we can calculate MB, which is equal to minus 24 kN meter. Then, let us apply the value of MB in this equation. In this way, we can calculate MA, which is equal to minus 38 kN meter. Now, let us calculate the reactions. In this beam, we are having two spans, AB and BC. So, we have to split the beam into two parts for the span AB and for the span BC. The moment MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction. B is a joint. So, the moment MB will be acting in both of the directions towards the span AB it will be acting in the clockwise direction towards the span BC. It will be acting in the anticlockwise direction. Now, let us take the span AB and calculate the reactions. In the span AB, we are having two moments. The moment 38 is acting in the anticlockwise direction and the moment 24 is acting in the clockwise direction. 
So when we calculate the reactions, we have to consider these two moments. In this span, first I am going to calculate the reaction Ra. For that, I am going to take moment about B. In this case, I am moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive, anticlockwise will be negative. Ra is acting towards the point B in the clockwise direction. So it will be positive and the distance is 6. So 6 Ra. The point load 45 kN is acting towards the point B in the anticlockwise direction. So it will be negative and the distance is 4 meter. So minus 45 into 4. This movement is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So it will be negative and this movement is acting in the clockwise direction. So it will be positive. Finally, we are getting Ra which is equal to 32.33 kN. To calculate Rb1, let us apply the rule summation of vertical forces is equal to 0. In this span, we are having three vertical forces Ra, Rb1 and 45. Ra and Rb1 are acting upwards, so both are positive. 45 is acting downwards, so it is negative. We have already calculated Ra which is 32.33. We can apply that. Finally, we are getting Rb1 12.67 kN. Now, let us take the span BC and calculate the reactions. In the span BC, we are having a movement which is acting in the anticlockwise direction. In this span, first I am going to calculate Rb2. For that, I am going to take movement about C. In this case, I am moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive, anticlockwise will be negative. Rb2 is acting towards the point C in the clockwise direction. So it is positive and the distance is 4 meter. So 4 Rb2. The UDL is acting towards the point C in the anticlockwise direction. So it will be negative. When the UDL comes, we have to multiply with the distance and a distance by 2. So 4 into 4 upon 2. The moment 24 is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So it will be negative. Finally, we are getting Rb2 is equal to 36 kN. Now let's apply this rule and find out Rc. Rb2 and Rc are acting upwards. So they will be positive. 15 kN per meter is acting downwards, so it will be negative. When the UDL comes, we have to multiply with the distance to get the total load. When we do that, we are getting 60. Rb2, we have already calculated. We can apply that. Finally, we are getting Rc, which is equal to 24 kN. In the point B, we have calculated the reaction two times. Let us add both of them. After adding, we are getting Rb is equal to 48.67 kN. Now, let us make the shear force diagram. Before drawing the shear force diagram, let us calculate the shear force values. I am calculating the shear force values from the point A towards the point C. In this case, I am moving towards right hand side. Upward forces will be positive and downward forces will be negative. You can see the calculations here. Now let us make the shear force diagram. For the positive values, we have to draw the diagram above this line. And for the negative values, we have to draw below the line. And we have to mark as positive and negative. Now we are going to draw the bending moment diagram. For the bending moment diagram, first we have to make the free moment diagram and end moment diagram and then combine both of them to get the bending moment diagram. For the free moment diagram, we have to consider each span a separate assembly supported beam. We have already calculated the ordinates. For the span AB, it is 60 and for the span BC, it is 30. Using the ordinates, we can make the free moment diagram. Using the end moments, we can make the end moment diagram. In the point A, we are having a moment MA 38. 
in the point B we are having MB 24 and in the point C the moment is 0 if the end moment is negative we have to mark the points above the line if it is positive we have to mark them below the line in our case both of the moments are negative that is why we are marking them above the line now we can combine the free moment diagram and end moment diagram wherever they are alone we are marking the values with the sign here the end moment diagram here the free moment diagram end moment diagram and free moment diagram wherever they are together we are not marking we are just keeping the space empty if you are very experienced no need to make the free moment diagram and the end moment diagram we can directly draw the bending moment diagram so we can save a lot of time now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video